Alright, sorry about that. Ran out of time. That's alright. We're right back where we need to be. Alright, and also you want the temperature around 400, 415. Because you're going to cook it for anywhere between 30 and 40 minutes. Uh, 35 you're saying. So you go ahead and get your noodles here. Come here. That way you get down. You might have to see it good. And just stick them in there. I suggest draining your water and then putting cold water in it. Oh, well, you ain't fighting it like I am right now. <laughs> but that's all right. They be hotter than hell. All right. Ooh, that hot. But yeah, you want a, about a, a quarter of an inch, you want to overlap each noodle. You should have uh -huh. damn noodles falling apart on you. Yeah. Should have, you have two layers of four, so yeah, you got to cook eight noodles. I told you, you usually you'll have plenty. Now, if you don't like it at, that much, you don't have to use that much. Use whatever you like. What we got on time? 3.40. All right. Then you get your mozzarella, slice of mozzarella. And just stick it in there. Two packs of that, overlapping each piece of cheese a little bit. Go around the edges first. Like I said, overlap them. And I go one down in the middle. And then you know, I'll just, with this last piece, see, just put it there. And there, there we go. Alright. Alright. So, noodles. Cottage cheese, and then your sauce. Now this casserole dish might not be big enough for what I've fixed here. We'll find out. Oh, that sauce smells good. Like I said, it, you can add sugar if you don't like sugar in your sauce. You don't have to, but my recipe, I put sugar in it. 
It's just, it's good, trust me. All right. And these are the hamburger meat you want. If you like a real meaty, use more meat. If you don't, you don't. All right. And back to noodles again. Repeat the process. It's good to get your noodles all the way dry. And overlap them. Uh -uh. Yeah, I might have messed up a little bit. Should have had one more noodle. That's okay. Not a big deal. I just do it like that. Stretch them out some here. Stretch your noodle. <laughs> I think you might accidentally put an extra noodle I on did. the bottom. I put one extra on the bottom because they all fell apart and I couldn't keep up with it. <laughs> all right. Now. It's coming up the side, that don't matter. Back to cottage cheese again. This is gonna be your last layer of cottage cheese. So you go ahead and put the rest of it on there. Bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. Don't forget to put the egg in your cottage cheese. It makes a world of difference. Ready now. Mm. Isn't that looking good? <laughs> All right. Now your other pack. So you want one around 20 slices of your mozzarella. It's got the food club. You don't have to get name brand mozzarella. The food club works just fine. Now other stuff I will get name brand stuff. Like tomato stuff like the whole peeled uh, tomatoes. I'll get hunts. And get a good parsley too. Don't get no cheap ass parsley. I got the full circle parsley, I think it would. Mm-hmm. And we're just overlapping each piece. That's, that way you can it holds it all together like that when you overlap. Cheat there. Just right there. All right. All right. Now, your meat sauce. And this is your last step. This is your last layer. You don't put cheese on I top. I had eight minutes. Huh? We're at eight minutes. All right. Put your last layer on here of the meat sauce. I think I'm gonna be able to fit. It's gonna be full, but I got it that time. Alright. Every time. Yeah. Perfect. Like I said, after you get your last layer of your uh, meat sauce, Look at that, perfect. <laughs> then, that's when you put that in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. I do about 35 minutes. Put it in there 30, uh, 30, 35 minutes, and then let it come out and let it sit. Let it rest for 10 minutes. All right, I'll be back in a minute for the final product.